My trip behind the scenes of magic wasn't over yet. Apollo has arranged a little surprise for me. So we're going to pull a mini Ocean's Eleven heist. I'll do a little demonstration for Neil about how we can divert someone's attention and have him help me steal from someone else. He pretends to give me a lesson in how to pick a pocket, but what I don't realize is at the same time, he's pickpocketing me, stealing my favorite pen from inside my jacket. He puts my pen in a wallet and somehow gets it over to this guy, Apollo's real partner in crime, who's posing as a tourist. Next, he suggests we pickpocket an innocent bystander. Guess who? Excuse me, sir. I was shooting a special on security and watching out for pickpockets and those types of things. You have something inside of here. Do you have anything inside of there or anything down below? No. No? Seconds later, Apollo tosses me a wallet. But when we check out what we stole, uh, what is this? you guessed it. Oh, does that look familiar to you? Wait a minute. How did you do that? This is my pen. It was in my pocket the whole time. Yep, it was, wasn't it? <laughs> and not only did he steal my pen, he removed it from its fancy holder, which he returned to my pocket, all without me knowing. I've been had. I think I'm a pretty observant guy. I mean, I think I'm really observant, or at least I used to think I was observant. <laughs> but he didn't get my wallet, I don't think. <laughs> I'm hoping that our work here gives people a different perspective of magic. What's fascinating about our work is that we are a study of human nature, of human behavior, and we have certain information that has been passed down through generations that can be utilized in a way that interfaces with science. And I'm really excited about that collaboration. <laughs>